everyone the nerd Mary here and in this video let us learn about hypermetropia which is also known as farsightedness now some people also call hypermetropia to be hyperopia now this is a common vision problem in which the objects that are far away appear clear whereas the objects which are near appear blurred now let us understand the optics behind such a condition now in normal eye, the parallel rays of light that fall on the eye converge over the retina to form a sharp image on the retina. But in case of hypermetropia, due to several condi conditions, the parallel rays of light converge behind the retina and on the retina they form a blurred image. Now the causes that lead to hypermetropia include decreased curvature of cornea, decreased refractive index of lens, positional hypermetropia that is posterior placement of the lens or decreased axial length of the eyeball. Now signs of hypermetropia include small eyeball, shallow anterior chamber which also makes it a risk factor for angle closure glaucoma as well as isotropia. Whereas symptoms include loss of near vision which is why it is known as farsightedness and asthenopia which is easy tiring of the eyes. Now fundal signs of hypermetropia are again very important. Now in hypermetropia, you get fundal sign known as pseudopapillitis. Now papillitis means inflamed or edematous optic disc. Due to the edema, the margins of the optic disc become blurred. But in case of hypermetropia, the eyeball is very small in size. So the optic disc margins are very difficult to appreciate. And hence, mostly the optic disc margins appear hazy or blurred, even though there's no edema. And hence, there is no papillitis, but it appears like a papillitis, so known as pseudopapillitis. And another appearance is known as short silk retina. As the eyeball is small, the light from the ophthalmoscope is brilliantly reflected back and hence the retina appears more illuminant and more bright and shiny. Now, treatments of hypermetropia include optical treatment and surgical treatment. Now, under surgical treatment, you can have a conductive keratoplasty, hyperopic LASIK and thermal laser keratoplasty. About surgical treatments, we will have a separate video. For now, let us understand what is the optical treatment of hypermetropia. So, in normal eyes, the light rays falling on the eye form a image, sharp image over the retina by convergence. But in case of hypermetropia, due to different reasons, that convergence occurs behind the eyeball or behind the retina and over the retina, you get a blurred image. To correct that, what we do, we simply put a convex lens and the problem gets solved and the sharp image is formed on the retina. So I hope you have understood this concept well. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, share this video among your friends and peers of your medical school to get notes and flashcards you can follow me on my Instagram handle and Facebook. The links are given in the description box below. If you want to get in touch with me, you can use all these links of WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook and Gmail. And if you want biology related content, you can go and follow Animated Biology with Urban on YouTube. The video was made in collaboration with Animated Biologies with Urban. Do check out the channel. Until then, bye bye. See you in the next one.